Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can get events into Excel by using Power Automate. At the same time, we will also see how we can create calendar events from an Excel file by using Power Automate. So both these examples will see it. Now, if you don't have an idea on how to work with Microsoft Flu or Power Automate, I'll put a link in the video description where you can go through the basics, how we can start it, how we can run this. You can uh, get all those information over there in that video. Now, let me first of all open an article where you can see step by step how I have created it, what are the logic behind that, as well as you can download the flow. So, if you look at this article, I have uh, you know even explain what will, uh, what will be the column names from that for that excel file then how we can start uh, start it and then also i have attached that flow so that you can download it and then you can uh, use it in in your flow environment you can see here so if you click on this link then you will you will download the zip file so basically i have zipped this uh, flow and uploaded it into there so that you can download it and you can test it out so i'll put this link in the video description you can have a look at this now other apart from that let us see first we will see let's say these are the events so you can see here a few test events are there three test events are there and what i want is this is basically the outlook uh, online you can see so if you click on the app launcher you can see outlook is there and when you will open outlook then there is a uh, you know calendar tab so you can click on that and then you will come up with this screen if by any chance if you don't know about this now once you have this you can see i have uh, certain three events are there test events are there what i want now is i want whatever this uh, whatever the you know events are there in in this particular uh, uh, particular calendar so if you will see here you can see this is a calendar uh, there is also birthdays is there and then there is um, holidays are there all these things are there so uh, particularly what we are trying to achieve here is we will try to take all the events uh, there uh, in the January month uh, to excel file so that is what we are going to do here and what will be the excel file so if you look at this I have uh, in the general I have a excel file now look at this export calendar event to excel this is the excel x file and here you can see event is there start time and uh, end time is there uh, body is there and then hour is there so this will basically also calculate what is the duration of that uh, event that um, that is there in in the outlook so all these things are there now what i'll do is i will uh, do uh, flow.microsoft.com uh, basically we'll start now so for that what i have done is i have created the flow uh, you can uh, check out the video that i will put in the video description how you can start with this so basically if you will see here create and then i have uh, uh, created an instant cloud flow and uh, even that is there in the uh, step by step is there in the uh, post itself so i don't need to really repeat it uh, so what i have done is i have created the uh, flow here now if you'll see here this is my flow you can see this is the instant flow so you can run it actually but let me just edit it and then show you what exactly we have done here so overall you can see this is the flow that, that will trigger manually and then there is a flow action get calendar view of events v3 you can see here i am using that one and then i am doing uh, two uh, on the variables that we are initializing start time and end time why we require this because we want to uh, get basically the difference um, between the start date and end date start time and end time basically uh, to get what is the duration of the events and then we have an apply to each uh, so first let us go to this calendar view if you'll see here now look at this calendar so you can choose calendar here uh, birthdays you can choose you can uh, see here united state holiday is there so um, now how that is coming you can see here my calendar you, you have calendar united state holidays and birthdays like this are there so for this particular case i am getting the calendar so let's say if you want to get the birthdays uh, from uh, for your employees who are coming in this month if you want to get in excel then you can simply choose birthdays here over in this uh, calendar id so you can choose birthdays here now um, uh, i mean that that you can see and then the start time and the end time so actually the start time and end time this is the format that google is uh, sorry this uh, flow action is expecting so you put this way like you know you can see here first to 31st of this particular month january 2022 and i'm just putting a time over there so uh, that is how it will be so you select the calendar id start time and end time 
and then you can see this just just two variables i have declared here you can see start time and end time now look at this uh, there is a for each loop because you will have multiple events on this and uh, if you will see here first what we are doing is start time so what will be the start time there is a tick function is there so we are doing that apply to each and start over here so if you look at this you can see we are taking this start here this is basically the expression that we are building on this same way for end time you can see we are using the same thing except here it is end so end means this is the end time and now what we'll do here is uh, we'll calculate the hours so if i will see here we get we are doing division all these things are there so start basically the end time let me explain you this thing from the article so if you look at this uh, you can see here now this is what we are going to uh, we are using over here so variable end and variable um, uh, end time and start time and then we are doing this calculation so that it will come in hour so that is what we are doing in this you can take this formula from this uh, particular uh, code piece and uh, next thing is once we have this then we need to add into uh, add as a row so each element will come as a row so each event will come as a row into the uh, excel table basically so you can see here i have the sharepoint site here and the document library it is and then the excel x file so basically the file name that i want uh, it will be added and then the table one uh, this is the first uh, table in that excel uh, spreadsheet now if you have put in one drive you can put it wherever uh, your excel is there you have to choose that location and then uh, your event so basically the subject start time end time so our formatting times and then subject which is the body we are taking and then the um, the hours the output so basically whatever we have uh, getting it here compose uh, get under get hours so this will uh, return this output so this is how we are uh, adding one one row so uh, for each uh, apply to each means it will uh, let's say there are three events are there so three times it will run so this is how the flow is anyway i have already you can download it you can test it now let me just run one so you will see here i click on run and then you can see here run flow now you can see the flow run success uh, successfully started so if there will be any error then it will show you uh, that there is an error till now you can see here it is running successfully so hopefully it will run successfully let me just come back again and uh, we will see this again the history you can see uh, the last one is uh, the second last one is succeeded now so what we'll do now is we'll go to our uh, spreadsheet so you can see i'll click on that and here we should be able to this see this so one event is there you will be able to see other events uh, it will come it will add in uh, in couple of uh, minute so we'll be able to see all the uh, elements on that so now you can see here now all these events are uh, appearing so three records are there now because we have three test events uh, that's how it is uh, coming here now next thing uh, we will see is let's say we have an excel file so if i'll go to the same document library i have an excel file create calendar events from excel now what exactly we are doing here is i have an excel file and uh, there are certain events on that i want when i'll run this power automate then it should automatically create this in my outlook so if you'll see here now daily meeting daily meeting weekly meeting i have added three things over there this is the format so you can see this format in the uh, in the uh, in the article as well so um, i have this so what we'll do now is uh, i have the other flow so i'll go to this flow now i have the other flow which is saying power automate create calendar event from excel let me just edit it and we'll go through that so first of all we'll read the table so um, you know whatever the table is there so if you'll see here now let me just put this uh, the site here so i will just take uh, this site this is the site so i will take uh, this one over here you can see uh, i have uh, taken this uh, this is the location basically so you can see here i have added the location is the sharepoint uh, list url and then this is the library and i have uh, directly it is there in that particular library so you can see here directly not in any folder or anything so you have you have this is the file and then this is the table one and then once we read uh, the excel so we have a for each loop and then there is a create event uh, uh, v4 it is there this action that we can use 
So here we will have to choose the calendar ID. In this case, I will choose calendar. And then you can see here event start time, end time, and then this is the UTC time format. So that time zone you can give anything on that. So let me save it. So hopefully it will run it. Now why this this was showing like GUID? I'll tell you shortly now. Um, there was a reason for that. So if you'll see here now, let me continue. Uh, run the flow. So we have run this flow. So now you can see here it is running. Now why it was coming like this? Because uh, what I have done is someone shared the flow with me. So if you'll see here, this is the flow that uh, that has been shared and when i run this on my account then there was an error was coming so that is the reason what i have done is simply i just uh, save as a copy and then i uh, rename it and then i started running it so it was working fine so somehow somehow there is a problem if you are uh, uh, trying to uh, use the same flow to create some events on that uh, particular uh, calendar so uh, now this will happen for both these uh, these things uh, so you can if when you download actually what you can do is uh, when you download that zip file you can copy it and you can create another flow and in that you can use it so that you will not get that error so i'll try to put the link in the video description uh, what is the error that was coming and you can have a look at that this is quite important so now we will see here i'll go to the calendar you can see here it is succeeded now so now if we'll go to the our calendar then you can see here there is daily meeting weekly meeting and uh, this here is a daily meeting so you can see here now all these three meetings has been created in our outlook calendar in my outlook calendar basically so this is how we can uh, create the flow and uh, uh, where we can read our meetings from the calendar to an excel file as well as if you have some uh, let's say excel then you can use that to create events in your uh, in your calendar whether it is birthday or something uh, you can do that so um, if you want similar kind of uh, videos then subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get a lot of free videos on uh, you know sharepoint spfx power platform all these things you will get it so thank you and have a nice day